Meanwhile, the Dow S&P 500, they're down as tax reform uncertainties continue. Economist and the Capitalist Code author Ben Stein, Fortune Magazine's executive editor Adam Lashinsky, both of them, by the way, multiple best-selling authors at that. So we got the schmatty pants with us. All right, Ben, um, a lot of people are saying that if tax cuts don't come through, these rallies end, UBS out with a report this week saying, no, no, quite the opposite. These markets haven't even factored in uh, the impact of these tax cuts. What do you say? I don't think the markets have factored in the input of the, uh, input of the tax cuts. I think it would be good if we got the cut in the corporate income tax. There should have never been a corporate income tax. It should be taxed directly to the stockholders. Uh, but these markets uh, know that Mr. Trump has a lot of trouble getting anything through, and they still keep going up. Uh, obviously, trees don't grow to the sky. They're not going to grow to the sky. Uh, we've already had a fantastic rally, more than anyone could have hoped for at the beginning of the year. Uh, I don't think the... Uh, I don't think that the fate of the tax bill is going to determine the fate of the rally. You know, Ben, if you think about it, trees do grow toward the sky. <laughs> they do grow towards the sky. That's true. It's they, an important they distinction. They do grow I, towards the sky. That's yes. true. That's, that's right. a very good point. That's a very good point. I'm, I'm ne never going to forget that. All right. There we go. All right. Um, you know, when I'm looking <clears throat> at some of these numbers and groups that have done so well, Adam, uh, there is this sense, to, to Ben's point, I mean, that, you know, we have had an incredible run here. And you can always argue, you know, you buy in the rumor, you sell on the fact. I mean, let's say we get these through, the Senate overcomes whatever differences they have, they sort this out with the House, voila, we get our cuts, then what? Well, I, I actually think that if a tax bill goes through, which I don't think it will, and if it's a halfway decent bill, which I don't think it will be, I think that stocks will go significantly higher. I think the market, as Ben said, they no, already well, had no, a terrific it'll go, year. It will go higher without getting this. Without no, a tax bill, I mean, I, I think they'll. I, I think without a tax bill, they'll sort of go along the way they have. I think they're taking a breather right <clears> now from a very good year. But I ask you, one, if they the don't, is, if they don't, then what? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, if, the, if there is not a tax bill, yeah. Then I think stocks sort of continue along the way they are right now, a little bit up, a little bit down, after having been up very strongly all year. Well, wait a minute. You, you're one of the smartest financial authors I know. I need something more than a little bit up, a little bit down. I mean, <laughs> are we going to get more up than down? Or? Over the long well, run, it'll do incredibly well. All right. Over the long run, it'll do incredibly well. There's your answer. There we go. Long, I'm just joking. I am joking with you guys, but I'm wondering like now, Ben, you're not a fan of the, the personal <laughs> tax cuts in this. You, you welcome a lot of the, the corporate tax. Would it bug, would it bug you yes. if these companies on which uh, Republicans are hoping and praying will use these cuts to expand plant and equipment and not just simply plow it into their stock, buying back their stock, boosting their dividends. Um, if the companies do just that, uh, would you be worried? I'm not, frankly, I'm not worried about it one way or the other, to tell you the truth. Hmm. I have other things to worry about, but I, but I, I would love to see them. I would love to see that. that what else do you have to worry about? Enormous... What, what, else, what else is there to worry about? I mean, this is it. This is our show. Well, I'm very overweight. <laughs> You're not very overweight. Well, we'll talk yes, about that. On, we'll talk about I, that on another show. Uh, no, I'm. I'm. I, I, right. <laughs> no, I'm. More, I would like to see them plow, plow the money back into the corporate sector, into the expanding plants and equipment. I'd love to see that happen. But look, we're already at full employment. We're already at labor shortage. I don't know how much more plowing I don't know back how they much. That's do. a very good I, point. And Adam, you know, if you buy that argument, and they do just, and they're free to do it, the money what they get. I, I understand that. Of but if they, they just are. plow it into, you know, their stock or to buy more stock or, or to buy other companies in their sector, thereby likely producing fewer jobs in the near term before more jobs, if you buy that, that could boomerang on Republicans, couldn't it? Uh, it, it absolutely could. It, it, will, it will help the stock market, stock market almost no matter what if they do the things that you're suggesting. But if it doesn't lead, I mean, we're already having good job growth right now, Neil. And by the way, we were having good job growth a year ago, and it, it didn't, didn't help Hillary Clinton. So um, it, I think it's, it, there's a lot of factors. You know, at, that's at a very good, you know, that's a very good point. So maybe the political impact of this improvement in jobs, you can't deny it over this last year that a lot of Republicans are banking on to help them in the midterms next year. That might not pan out. Well, and, and the, well it might not I, pan I out or it might pan out. 
Good. Uh, the, the one thing you can say for sure, Neil, is that <laughs> what the Trump administration is doing on regulatory reform is real. That is driving, that is helping the economy. It is driving the stock market. But I'm not sure that, that, that voters particularly care about that. It's, it's very hard for, it's certainly small business people care about it. But I'm not yeah. sure voters do. Ben, final word. I, I'm going to tell you something. Let th let's thank Mr. Trump for getting his foot off the oxygen tube and letting the companies grow and not squishing them down with regulatory oversight. Let's thank him for that. Whatever else he's done, let's thank him for that. He has taken American business and saying, we're not going to try to squish you to death and cramp your style. We're going to let you grow. And for that, I think the market has grown. And for that, I think every American can be grateful. So this market would not be where it was or this economy where it is now if not for Donald Trump? Uh, that is my that, that, certainly the market Bennett. wouldn't be. The market <laughs> loves Trump. The market loves Trump. All right, Adam. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the market sort of immediately crashed on his election. Uh, the, the market loves a sound economy. It crashed economy. for about an hour. It, it, cra it didn't crash for, for an hour. hour. The futures, the futures, but more like 44 for minutes. Hour. Yeah, fair enough. Right. We, we, we're, enough. we're many years into an economic expansion and yeah. a bull market. Some of that has to do with the current president. And the tree just growing aimlessly toward the sky. All right, right. guys, I want to thank right. you very, very much, both of you. Uh, <laughs>